As of March 29th, 2023, three active volcanoes in the Caribbean are at a raised alert level of yellow. These volcanoes are as follows. On the island of Guadalupe, the volcano known as La Grande Soufre. North of Grenada, the Kikimjeni submarine volcano. And, most notably, on the island of Martinique, Mount Pele, is also currently an alert level of yellow. Taken out of context, this situation might sound somewhat scary, as Pele produced the deadliest volcanic eruption of the 20th century, wiping out the town of St. Pierre and resulting in nearly 30,000 deaths in 1902. And many people only became aware that several Caribbean volcanoes were at a raised alert level after the La Soufre volcano on the island of St. Vincent began to erupt in late December of 2020, as by December 30th, Pele and La Soufre were both at raised alert levels. And local residents who know their history will note that both of these volcanoes produced destructive eruptions in 1902. Thus, some people have pointed to the two volcanoes having what appears to be a connection, worrying that since La Soufre did erupt in December of 2020 to April of 2021, that a similar fate might be waiting in the next few years at Pele. However, a large-scale eruption, in my opinion, does not appear likely anytime soon given the present activity at Pele, and there is not actually a known connection between the two volcanoes. La Soufre does not seem to affect Pele, and vice versa. I will briefly explain what is occurring at several Caribbean volcanoes as several people have emailed me asking what the volcanic situation is as of 2023. After the explosive phase of La Soufre's eruption during April of 2021, which blew out a 900 meter wide crater and destroyed two lava domes occurred, its alert level was lowered in several stages, finally being lowered to a normal alert level of green on March 16th of 2022. On the other hand, although the Kikimjeni volcano has not erupted since 2017, it has remained an alert level of yellow. So, is anything special occurring at this volcano? The truth is, no, not really. The reason Kikam Jenny is at an alert level of yellow is because, per a statement paraphrased from the UWI seismic website, sensors don't really detect anything from this specific volcano until it is already erupting. In other words, it can erupt with little or no warning, and as a result, its lowest alert level is not green, but instead yellow, carrying a minimum permanent exclusion zone of 1500 meters around its summit. Meanwhile, the situation at La Grande Soufre is somewhat different, as it has been at a raised alert level of yellow for several years, perhaps since even as far back as 2001. After last erupting in 1977, a definite change in activity would eventually follow in 1992. This marked the year when the volcano reactivated as a sustained increase in seismic activity occurred, which was consistent with what in my opinion was the slow refilling of its at-depth magma chamber. This process has now been ongoing for 31 years and an eruption has not occurred during that time. And nothing dramatic has occurred at the volcano in the last few weeks other than a minor earthquake storm from March 7th to March 8th, which consisted of 36 earthquakes of less than a magnitude 1.0. Pele is in a similar situation as La Grande Soufre, although its possible reactivation occurred in late 2018 and produced a definite increase in seismic activity in April of 2019. Its alert level was only raised on December 4th of 2020 from green to yellow after two tremors were detected the prior month. Since then, Pele has not really produced anything truly noteworthy, although the number of earthquakes it has produced every week is still elevated, with six occurring in the week preceding March 24th, 2023. Thus, if you live on these islands, in my opinion, I would not be worrying about a volcanic eruption occurring in the short-term future. I have generally found that longer periods of low volcanic unrest are far less likely to produce an eruption than rapid, high-intensity periods of volcanic unrest. After all, an apparent reactivation of a volcano does not mean that it eventually is guaranteed to erupt in its current unrest period however long it might end up lasting for. For example, the Three Sisters volcano in Oregon reactivated in 1995, and the Edgecombe volcano in Alaska reactivated in 2018, yet neither of these have erupted as of March 29th of 2023. While there is currently not a short-term concern regarding any of the Caribbean volcanoes, because volcanoes are sometimes unpredictable and can erupt without warning, especially during unrest periods, there is a potential longer-term threat. As, in the next 25 years, there is always a possibility that something will unexpectedly rapidly change during an unrest period in the future at one or more volcanoes, possibly leading to an eruption or series of eruptions. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.